아, 반갑습니다. 한양대학교 하성규입니다. 아, 자료가 영어로 준비됐기 때문에 영어로 발표해 드리겠습니다. 아, again, my name is Song Ha from Hanyang University. 아, I'd like to share with you our visions on uh, development and commercialization of a recyclable Type 4 hydrogen storage tank. Well, it is a very uh, loan that, uh, and we are very uh, proud uh, to say, uh, the Hyundai Automotive is, a, is a one of the leading company, uh, mainly on the hydrogen cars, uh, not just the passenger car, but also uh, uh, heavy trucks, uh, Nexo and bus, and, and ma many trucks. But uh, one of the main problem of the current hydrogen tank is the uh, lifetime CO2 emission. If we check the lifetime CO2 emission by vehicle types, as you can see in the chart, uh, we have uh, many different uh, CO2 emission by uh, vehicle type. And the last column uh, shows that the total amount of CO2 emissions by the hydrogen car the red color represents the uh, amount of uh, CO2 emissions due to uh, a, CO, a, a hydrogen storage tank which are made of non-recyclable uh, hydrogen tank. Uh, so the, uh, so I, we have to uh, develop a recyclable hydrogen tank uh, and main, mainly the current tank is the, uh, as you know, the non-recyclable Somerset. Uh, okay, well, uh, speaking of a recyclable hydrogen storage tank, uh, you know, end of like vehicle uh, regulations uh, require that the body, uh, automotive body, have to be uh, recycled uh, at least 85 percent by uh, uh, certain years. Uh, so the uh, material-wise, the thermoplastic and also a uh, recyclable thermoset resin has been uh, developed. So uh, today I would like to share with you, in addition to a, a conventional non-recyclable thermoset tank, I would like to share with you thermoplastic and also recyclable thermoset uh, resin uh, uh, tank. Okay. Uh, before we introduce uh, such a technology, I would like to briefly introduce what we do at Hanyang University. We are Hanyang University and we collaborate with uh, many uh, companies uh, globally. And, and in three fields, uh, first is the uh, materials and design and process. Uh, we do have uh, several activities with a uh, global company, especially for the materials. We've been working with uh, Akema on thermoplastic, especially the resin, uh, the uh, ilium, and also uh, uh, coron plastics, which produce the, start to produce the thermoplastic composite tape, and also uh, uh, Swanko, uh, which we will uh, present uh, this afternoon. Uh, Swanko is the company in, in Taiwan. They start to produce the recyclable thermoset resin. Uh, and now using this resin and combined with the carbon fiber, we apply to uh, many different fields uh, through uh, design, uh, wind turbine blade, aerospace, and especially the uh, offshore pipe. And, and uh, among them, the hydrogen tank is the one of the big uh, application that we are collaborating. And uh, we are uh, located at Hanyang University in, in Seoul campus, so we do have a uh, a lab, uh, 750 square meter uh, size, and very high, uh, 5 meter ceiling height. We do have a, 
uh, equipment uh, enough to develop a hydrogen tank uh, and also uh, not just the manufacturing of hydrogen tank, but we also have a, a capability of perform the burst test and cycling test. So what we do is the, to uh, design and manufacture and test, and, and that's the way we, we collaborate with the industry. And we do have a, a several uh, in-house code and also a commercial code, which is very useful for industry to de uh, uh, develop and design the hydrogen tank because the hydrogen tank, uh, the geometry is uh, very complex and the material properties uh, is uh, very uh, uh, complex as well. Now, uh, before we go to a, a general recyclable tank, I'd like to briefly introduce the design procedures and also, very importantly, the uh, simulation of a liner, which is a common technology which is uh, needed uh, to develop not just the non-recyclable, but also a recyclable tank. So this is the overview of the uh, development of a recyclable Type 4. We are mainly working on the Type 4 hydrogen tank. Uh, starting from uh, on the right-hand side, you, we have a both design and liner design, and on the left-hand side, you can see the uh, material selection, which is very important. And, and fibers, we can choose from the uh, carbon fiber, basal, and even steel wires. And for the resin, uh, as I mentioned, recyclable resin, of course, the thermoplastic, but also uh, recyclable thermoset uh, from uh, 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 the Swanko, uh, Easy Cyclo, and Ilium is the, from the Akema. And Toprec, uh, we can also have, can have a thermoset and, and, and thermoplastic. The non-recyclable uh, recyclable thermoset can be also Toprec. Uh, so uh, left-hand side shows the all kinds of uh, material, which is very important. So all, all combining uh, uh, material and design, we come up with a, a total uh, tank design and winding process, and eventually we have to go through a certification uh, process, and then uh, we are able to uh, do a, a produce in a mass scale. Now, in production-wise, we can use uh, several different technology. Uh, very importantly, uh, we can not just the wet winding, but the tow prag winding is important, and also a robot-based thermoplastic tape winding can be very important. Okay, so kit manufacturing a process and technology to develop type four uh, recyclable hydrogen tank. I can just emphasize the four uh, important technology. One is the uh, wet winding, very conventional technology, which has been used, but which can be also used for wet thermoplastic, which is alum, and recyclable thermoset. This is a very common uh, process, uh, wet winding. And, and bottom, uh, toe prag winding. Now, uh, for many reasons, uh, instead of a wet winding, we are moving toward the uh, toe prag winding process. Uh, we can use the conventional winding uh, machine, but uh, design has to be different, and manufacturing process has to be different. On the right-hand side, uh, another technology is the uh, hybrid winding. Hybrid winding means not just the carbon fiber, we can hybridize the fiber, uh, basal and even glass, and also a steel wire. Th those fibers can be hybridized. How can we uh, wind them together? That's uh, one of the very important technology. And the, uh, uh, last but not the least, the, the ATL, automatic table layering uh, uh, technology, usually uh, to wind, dry thermoplastic. So these are two or four technology has been developed and then uh, uh, well, we are applying this technology to commercialize the recyclable hydrogen tank. Okay, uh, briefly uh, speaking, the design and analysis uh, tool for hydrogen tank, uh, these very conventional uh, procedures but uh, the, one of the main uh, topic we have to emphasize is that micromechanics. Because we are combining different fibers and resin system, so it is very useful to start with micromechanics 
where we can uh, characterize the resin and fiber separately. And through this technology, we can combine them so that we can minimize the number of tests required to uh, characterize the material properties. So, so uh, in these procedures, uh, we've been uh, developing multi-scale uh, based, uh, especially fertility life. Fertility life prediction is very important. And, and so far, many industry has been uh, resorting to uh, experimental methodology. Uh, uh, but uh, we have developed a way of uh, how to predict the fertility life for many different, uh, many number of cycles under low temperature and mid te uh, room temperature and high, uh, high temperature uh, as well. Okay, well, that's just the uh, brief uh, uh, key point of the design. And very importantly, how do we uh, develop the liners? Uh, well, it is very well known that we can use the three methodology. One is the blow molding for kind of a small scale, and also a rotor molding for larger size, and also a injection molding and a welding process, which is very well used by industry even now. And especially blow molding, this is one of the examples when we develop the liner using mold, we need to simulate how this uh, plastic uh, deform. And as you can see that when we design and when we have a blow mold, we need to decide the, the size of the uh, Paris and diameter and the thickness, and then how uh, will be uh, the liner thickness for different uh, diameters. And this uh, Parison diameter, the thickness is uh, affected not just the thickness, but also uh, a final liner shape, because uh, this is a plastic, once cured, uh, once uh, consolidated, the shape uh, the, mainly uh, shrink. So we should be able to pre the shrink so that uh, we can uh, better design of a mold, uh, considering the final uh, product. Okay, that's a very uh, key technology. Now we are uh, introduced the recyclable hydrogen uh, typhoid uh, tank. And, and here uh, I like to uh, uh, emphasize the how, how uh, material can be combined, how different technology can be combined. For the fiber, uh, we can combine the carbon fiber. Uh, very typical one is the Torrey. And then a uh, Hyosung uh, H2550, and uh, uh, different carbon fibers, different grade T700. We don't use the T800, but T300, uh, T400. Depending on the price, depending on the performance, we can uh, uh, choose them. And the basal and the steel wire. The steel wire is a very difficult one. I would like to share the one of the result of which been uh, successful recently. And resin is important. Uh, epoxy is a conventional non-recyclable, but Akema, Ilium, Thermoplastic, Swanko, Easy Cyclo is a recyclable Somerset, and also Adita Bora, a recyclamine, also a recyclable uh, Somerset, and, and Korong, uh, PA6, and PP tape is, a, uh, of course, recyclable Thermoplastic tape. Now, winding type-wise, the wet winding, dry Thermoset to preg winding, Dry thermoplastic toe prag winding. This is the technology. And the winding, motion wise, the filament winding and automatic type lay, uh, lay, layers. So, this is a material and winding type and uh, motions. Now, uh, this is the slide uh, I like to, uh, and as a summary, the activity we've been doing. Uh, so, recyclable, wet, thermoset, and thermoplastic, and, and carbon fibers. Uh, combined with the steel wires, is a separate tech, uh, technology and development. Uh, as I said, the, one of the products we developed is the uh, uh, recyclable thermoset uh, with a Swanko uh, using the Easy Cyclo, uh, very successful, and also Adita Bora. And the uh, left uh, bottom, uh, the Akema, uh, we are using their uh, ilium thermoplastic 
but still uh, wet at the room temperature, so we can use the conventional uh, wet winding machine, which is, is also very successful. On the uh, right-hand side, the POSCO like to uh, provide uh, the steel wires and, and uh, to uh, develop the hydrogen tank. So uh, we recently uh, 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 start to develop and then uh, uh, we, we are able to manufacture uh, and uh, pass the, uh, the uh, first test. So this is the summary and now I'd like to uh, briefly introduce each topic. And the, uh, uh, another key, uh, very important is the recyclable dry thermal set tow preg resin. Uh, many companies like to develop this one. And very importantly, uh, what we, the technology we are developing is the, when we wind the uh, thermal set tape tow preg, we are using uh, infrared, which is, uh, uh, turned out to be very effective because the uh, tow uh, preg tape is the uh, solid, uh, semi-solid, and the room temperature is better to uh, uh, heat up uh, during the uh, winding procedure. Okay, uh, this is the one of the results I like to share. Uh, the Swanko resin and Hyosung carbon fiber. Uh, we, uh, the weight, weight is very important. Uh, we reach the uh, 30, uh, where is the number? 37, I remember. Uh, 34, oh sorry, 32.6 uh, kilo, and we passed the uh, pre uh, burst pressure uh, as uh, 1,630 bar, uh, which uh, is above the uh, limit of 1575. So the, as you can see, this is the first one, and which you can uh, directly see in our booth. And, and not just one tank with uh, the uh, Swanko, we developed more than uh, 20 tank. We checked the, all the possibility and considering the price and then uh, weight. And uh, I got a feeling that this resin can be very successfully uh, applicable to a wet winding uh, hydrogen tank. And another one, uh, is the uh, wet thermoplastic ileum and using the uh, conventional uh, wet winding procedures. But the uh, very important uh, point here is that we use the UV during the winding as a, a, a kind of in-situ heating system. So we can uh, minimize the uh, process time, uh, very effective, and we also support it by the Hyundai. And uh, steel wire, as I mentioned, uh, here we also use this Swanko uh, recyclable uh, thermoset resin. We combine them, hybridize the uh, fibers. On the left, you can see the uh, many, many different uh, combination. We can uh, minimize the uh, cost. That is the most important uh, procedure here. And another point is the uh, steel wire is, uh, itself is a recyclable wire. Compared to, compared to a carbon fiber. So uh, I don't want to uh, emphasize the, uh, that point, but that is uh, also a good uh, uh, point. So this is a rear steel wire and hybridized uh, carbon fiber. We, we design and we manufacture, and then we uh, do a, a burst test uh, as well, as you can see that. And, and this is the uh, tension system. Tension has to be very different uh, because uh, each wire is just uh, uh, one single wire. We have to uh, develop the uh, winding tension system, which it took us some time. And then uh, uh, we are able to uh, produce this one. As you can see, uh, the technology looks similar, but the eye end is a little different. And uh, also uh, color is very uh, different. Okay, uh, so the, uh, when we developed the uh, uh, recyclable tank, uh, we developed kind of an online monitoring uh, uh, procedures. So, so we, we have all the uh, uh, camera and monitoring and, and we, we are able to uh, uh, increase the uh, quality of the tank. And then uh, as I mentioned, we do have a, a burst test. Once we manufacture and cured, we put into a, a burst test and as you can see, oops, it's a burst. 
So we have a chamber, we have a camera there, we put the tank and we reach up to, uh, uh, able to reach uh, 20, uh, 2,000 bar. So we are able to do uh, all kinds of uh, burst test. So this is the, one of the uh, final product, very beautiful uh, failure mode uh, in the cylinder uh, burst uh, uh, tank. And this uh, shows that uh, success of a burst of a steel wire using the uh, easy cyclo epoxy resin system. Okay, uh, that is the uh, just a brief introduction. And very importantly, I like to also uh, uh, emphasize the uh, uh, live prediction of the uh, uh, pressure tank. Uh, it's very uh, challenging uh, topics, uh, but uh, we proudly can uh, emphasize that we have a frame that uh, we are able to predict uh, based on the each constituent like the fiber and resin system. Uh, so let's say, for example, how do we apply this technology to design? Well, the purpose of all the development is to achieve the uh, certification. The, the very best, uh, very important uh, uh, certification code will be ECE R134. And you can see we have many different steps with a different uh, pressure level, different temperature, and different number of cycles. Uh, as you can see, to perform all the uh, tests, it took a lot of time and it cost a, a huge amount of uh, money. So uh, at the design level, how can we uh, predict uh, this performance? We cannot predict the absolute value, but uh, relatively, we can uh, have uh, some effect. So uh, the, that is the uh, purpose of this uh, uh, study. And then uh, we uh, define all the SN curve, and uh, we do uh, all the uh, experiment. And uh, OK, we, we have uh, many different material and measure the uh, constituent level uh, SN curve. Uh, and then, uh, uh, well, this is the de design. Uh, as, as you can see, uh, the upper one shows the fiber directional strain distribution, very typical one. Uh, and, but uh, very important is the uh, uh, bottom left, uh, fiber lifetime along the uh, tank. Uh, uh, this is the, uh, uh, no commercial tool can predict this one. But as you can see, along this fiber, along this layer, we are able to predict a uh, number of cycle to failure. So using this uh, value, we can uh, not only increase the burst test, but also it can increase the uh, number of cycle. So uh, each step, we can kind of uh, come up with uh, some damage, and we can have a, a total uh, on the uh, right bottom. It says a total cycle eight, which means that we can repeat whole set eight times. So you can see how much the safety factor we can, uh, we can have. OK, uh, but uh, last topic I'd like to introduce the robot assisted automatic tape layering, mainly for the uh, thermoplastic tape. Uh, well, uh, the main part of this uh, key technology is the head, where we apply laser and also a uh, uh, HUM3 uh, heat source. And then we apply. And using the robot, we winding. Uh, so it's a, a certainly futurist uh, 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 technology, but I believe that this technology uh, will be, uh, 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 become uh, very uh, widely used. So uh, in, in our lab, in our center, we've been developing this, uh, the red one, that is a hat. Uh, uh, commercially is available, but each one is easily reach the one million dollar. That way, uh, our company cannot use that. So, purpose is that we develop affordable, uh, reasonable uh, uh, the machines, and uh, which was very successful using the uh, colon uh, plastic thermal uh, plastic table layering. OK, uh, so this automatic tail la uh, uh, layering uh, technology can be applied, of course, to a pressure vessel. 
but also uh, can be applied to uh, any generic uh, composite plate. You just uh, lay up, and this is a thermoplasty. You can kind of uh, stamping, thermal forming easily. So uh, uh, I believe this technology is very important. Uh, well, the, lay, uh, the heat source is the key point where we apply the heat. Uh, is a laser, and HUM3 is the recently developed technology, and also our uh, ultrasonic. Uh, three technologies have been uh, checked and, and confirmed and applied to uh, these tech, uh, procedures. And uh, we got a, a tape from the thermoplastic, uh, usually carbon PA6. PA6 carbon tape is good because the liner is mainly the PA6. So when we layer, this liner and tape can be one, bo uh, one body. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the separation between the liner and then the composite. So this is the uh, press. And using the, some uh, software, we use the uh, robot decay uh, software to generate the code. Uh, uh, and this is the real pictures of a robot and the ATL uh, tape, and then uh, we apply to a, a different plate and just uh, printing flat-wise. That's the way, uh, way we develop the uh, process parameter, such as the, how much the power of a laser uh, and also our speed and etc. Oops. And now this one uh, is the uh, same size tank as we uh, develop for the conventional uh, tank, and we apply to that. And, and this is the one of the uh, few uh, uh, procedures. Uh, this is a start with a PA6 liner. Uh, well, you can see a little bit of smoke, uh, but that is the, just the reflection of the light. But this, as you can see, that uh, pressure and the laser heat, that's a two very important uh, uh, process parameter. And as you can see, uh, how it can well. Again, uh, as I mentioned, this uh, first layer tape is very important. It can be perfectly bonded to the liner uh, layers. And, and uh, layer to layer, and as you can see, uh, right now we don't make the fast, uh, fast, but uh, we just the, uh, uh, confirm and, and, and confirm the technology, which is the very important uh, sign to us. And soon we're gonna make a one full tank and then uh, do the burst test. Uh, I hope to uh, share with you the result uh, by the end of this year. So anyhow, I'd like to thank the collaborators, the Hyundai and Korong Plastic, and Akema and Embraer is a Brazil uh, aerospace company, and 3P.com is the one uh, startup company in our lab, and, and Swanko. And, and our vision is that uh, we like to develop technology, especially on the recyclable and affordable uh, hydrogen tank uh, through innovation of a liner and the winding design. And uh, while well, uh, we uh, like to share with the uh, uh, industry and hope that uh, we can contribute to uh, net zero uh, society. Well, thank you so much. Professor, thank you very much for your wonderful presentations. Is there any comment and questions? Yeah, thank you for your uh, very interesting presentations. Uh, a very simple questions. Uh, because of the cost, uh, the hydrogen tanks, yes. uh, your the tests and the results uh, looks like a type four, yeah, type three or four with the liner. Yes. The final goal, because of the cost, process cost, the manufacturers finally want to make it type five without liners. Right. Is yes. there any possibility uh, even uh, you can use that tape or any top prepared or winding? Uh, uh, can you imagine how to make it uh, uh, type five? Yes, uh, I believe so. I believe so. And, and uh, there are several activity to develop type five. Uh, well, uh, one of the most difficult is the just using the uh, core and the winding. 
and that core can be uh, washed out. Uh, that is the very common technology. But to me, that is the uh, one uh, type of development. But uh, the activity we are doing uh, to develop Type 5 is that instead of a liner, we make the composite uh, part and then uh, uh, separately a cylinder and then two head, and then uh, we develop a special technology to combine them. And, and so technology, I'm sure the uh, cost-wise, we should uh, develop a Type 5. Uh, and, and, uh, but doing so, we need to fully understand the behavior of the composite tank. Uh, when, how do we start with uh, uh, this uh, tank? So the liner, uh, common uh, liner in type 4 is just a leaking proof. But the type 5, the way we develop the, uh, the uh, liner is the structural supporting system and combined with the uh, uh, outer layers. That's the, uh, I believe, can be more effective and the way of uh, re reducing the cost. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 아까 전에 그 리사이클러블 서머셋에 대해서 말씀해 주셨는데 스완코 이지 사이클로가 어떻게 리사이클러블 되는지랑 실제로 탱크를 만드셔가지고 리사이클 하셔서 섬유를 뽑아내신 적이 있는지 여쭤봅니다. 아 예, 어, 아주 좋은 질문이십니다. 아, 그, 어. 이 됐다 안 됐다 그러는데 하여간 그 어, 리사이클러블 더머셋 어, 레진을 가지고 탱크를 만들었는데 이게 과연 리사이클이 되는지 어, 이건 사실 그 레진 회사 어, 그 어, 어, 예를 들어서 어, 스완코 어, 어, 브랜드 네임 is the uh, uh, easy uh, cycler uh, we can, is displayed in, in one of the booths. They have uh, all the uh, carbon with the resin, and then how they, uh, 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 I cannot say melt, but uh, you, you have wash out the uh, resin system. So uh, we developed a tank and then deliver to that, their company. We're not a, a resin developer. They can uh, demonstrate and then how to, uh, they recycle the carbon fiber. Yes, it, it certainly, it's not just the story, uh, it is the uh, uh, real uh, technology. Thank you. Is there any question and comment? Okay, one more time, thank you very much, Professor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you.